Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this pyramid infographic inside Adobe Illustrator and yes, you probably think that we are already created this cone and why should we care about the pyramid infographic? But in case of this pyramid, we are going to create this uh, 3D appearance using basic 2D shapes and 2D transformation. No real 3D effects required, like in case of this cone where we are using effects, 3D, evolve and so on. And uh, I'm gonna show you how it works right now, here, inside Adobe Illustrator. So, let's start with a new document, go to the file, new. I'm gonna size this document with 1920 and 1080, click create. And as always, I want to uh, turn off my Align Art to Pixel Grid and increase the row size of my layers so everybody can see them easily. And last my preparation step, I'm gonna grab all of my colors here and throw it to my new artboard and lock it, lock it in my new layer by clicking on this free space. So, in, in my new layer, I'm gonna grab this polygon tool I set the number of uh, size to 3 to create a, a triangle and click OK. And first of all, I want to give, uh, give uh, this triangle a uh, color, fill color, so you can easily distinguish this triangle on the white background. And then I want to size it using this control panel, this width and height, as you can see. Let me. This width and height here. Uh, in control panel and uh, I'm gonna set the width to 955 uh, pixels and set the height to uh, 823 pixels and next I'm gonna al align this uh, artwork to the my artboard so my uh, I choose the option align to artboard and align them both horizontally and vertically right here Next, I'm gonna return to my polygon tool and hit on my artwork. And here I want to set this number of size to 6 and click OK. So we have now our hexagon, and I want to click on this swap fill and stroke to get rid of my fill, and then set the stroke to uh, black color. And uh, then I want to rotate this uh, polygon holding shift. On my 270, or you can rotate it to the left to 80 degrees. So we have our polygon, and uh, we have our top and top and bottom points. And uh, I want to return to this control panel with the size, and I'm gonna set the size of my width to 710 pixels, and height of my polygon to 820 pixels. And I'm gonna set stroke to 1 pixel, maybe 2 pixels, and I'm gonna align it both horizontally and vertically to the center. Uh, as you can see, my hexagon is perfectly fits to my triangle. And the next step, we need to create a bunch of duplicates of this uh, hexagon shape. And for doing that, we need to visit our effect, distort and transform, transform. And here in my transform effect uh, dialog box we need to set the number of copies to 5 and I, I'm gonna set the move value the vertical move value to minus 120 pixels to move it to the top and uh, check preview as you can see we uh, receive a bunch of uh, polygons that stack it upon each other and click OK and next step I'm gonna go to object and expand appearance so i now have all the shapes uh, here and last step i'm going increase as you can see we have now a group this group of uh, polygons is selected and i'm gonna increase the stroke width of these polygons to 10 pixels so this talk is really sick now after doing that i want to select this shape and uh, go to object path and outline my stroke. Click this option to outline your strokes. Now we have our outlines 
sitting on our triangle and uh, next we gonna grab our line segment tool or click backslash and draw a vertical line holding shift key and give this uh, line a stroke and probably leave it one pixel stroke and align this line to the artboard both horizontally and vertically and this line should go beyond your triangle uh, it's very important so we have this composition after doing this we need to grab our shape builder tool or click shift m and uh, select all of these shapes here on one side of the line and on another side of the line and then i'm gonna scale my artwork a little bit with ctrl plus command plus select these gaps here select only gaps do not combine the gaps and shapes After finishing this, you can see that all of your desired shapes disappear, but we need to ungroup all of them, selecting like so, ungroup, then maybe ungroup again, using your right mouse button key, and then clean up a little bit your artwork. And now I can select all of them and set a stroke, for example this greenish stroke here and increase the stroke weight to three points so we can easily see our shapes so we have our shape and we're ready to recolor it so after cleaning your artwork we have something like that we have a perfect pyramid with all the shapes and all the gaps are accessible here with my selection tool and I want to recover this pyramid first of all uh, I want to select all of these large parts of my pyramid and set it to the new layer so click this icons on the layer panel like so this icon on the layer panel and then grab on this small small very small square on your layer holding left mouse button key drag it to your new layer uh, so all of my shapes sitting on my new layer and then i want to sample this color for my top shapes my orange and let me speed up a little bit this tutorial So I color all of my shapes, both uh, left and right, uh, to the same color and I want to all of my right shapes to be a, a little bit more dark color. So I want to select the shapes on my right, go to the recolor artwork tool, this icon, color wheel on my, all on my control panel, switch the tab to edit and here I want to lock how many colors to manipulate all of these colors um, and then I want to increase the saturation to around 5% and decrease the brightness to around 10% like so click OK and we have our darkest color and then I want to lock this layer with my shape by clicking on this free space between airball and this uh, chevron icon and want to lock these shapes next i want to work only with my gaps so first thing first i want to select uh, my top gaps and recolor it by sampling this uh, darker side color then i want to do that with my second third select this both I need to 
darken a little bit my right gap. So I want to select all of them. Uh, all of these right gaps are selected and I want to go to my color hard for tools which is time to edit click on this link how many colors icon and then I want to increase the saturation to around 5% and decrease the brightness to around 10% like so so we have our final result or all this recolored artwork and then I want to grab my direct selection tool and do a manipulation I want to select all of this top left anchor points of my left shapes as you can see all, all of these top left anchor points are filled and other are hollow and then I want to select top right anchor points of my right shape here with direct selection tool, use uh, hold shift key to accomplish this task. Then I want to go to my scale tool or click F and as you can see I have this cursor on my bottom right and I want to drag from bottom right to top left holding this scale tool to achieve this result like so. So I have now these shapes and it's look, it looks very very nice. Next I want to place my icons, by the way I grab this icon on the vectorpage.com, you can visit the link in the description. So I gonna place this icon on the left side of this pyramid. And for doing this, first of all I want to create uh, a whole new layer. To my icons and select all of them. Group them first of all, group and place it on my new layer, like so. Grab this layer and place it on top of my pyramid so we can easily see our icon sitting on top of this pyramid. Then I want to hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option key on your mark and drag in this bounding box, decrease the size and gaps between my icon. I think I need to play it like so. Next step we need to hold left mouse button key on my scale tool to assess our shear tool. Click holding alt key or option key, click on the top anchor point of your top icon, like so. And I want to shear it around vertical axis and set the shear angle to 30% uh, percent, like so. So as you can see they are now sheared like so and I want to click OK to shear my icons. Place it right over there, a little bit rotate it like so scale it down a little bit more and now I want to ungroup all of them and place them individually like so so looks nice but Last step, I need to resize my icons a little bit, so it's uh, to feel the perspective of uh, my pyramids. So, first of all, I want to grab these icons, I set my scale tool, or click S, set uniform scaling to 90%, and click OK. Then, here I want to double click on my scale tool and set the uniform scaling to uh, around 80%. Then I want to grab this and uh, scale it around 70%. 70% and uh, this icon maybe I want to scale it around... Uh, okay, I want to scale it around 65%. And last icon I want to scale around 60%, so I have my top icon here 
and I want to set the uniform value to 60% click OK. So we have all of our icons sitting in place and we end up with this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, do not hesitate to subscribe, thumb up and share it with your friends. Visit tutorial.net for uh, another infographic tutorials and as always you can download this uh, pyramid as freebie using the link in the description. Uh, thank you for following to the end and I wish you a nice 